I could barely sleep last night. I feel so bad for yelling at Buttercup like that. It wasn't nice. You know what? Maybe I should go and see if she's up now. Mm, no, she's probably not. Let's just get some tea. I should really apologize to her this morning. That was not nice of me. Although she is still grounded for a day because coming home that late is unacceptable, especially if you don't call me. Uh, let's get back to the room. Oh my goodness, let's just get on my computer and let's check my email. I have to check everything every day. Let's see. Wait, what? What is that? Uh... I can't wait for her to wake up to go and talk to her. Wait, did I- wait, what? I got an email from my bank? Hold on, wait. This- this has to be wrong. I didn't spend that kind of money. Wait, hold on. No, 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 this must be a mistake. What? $40,000? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's saying here that- my credit card was used to purchase something for forty thousand dollars no someone must have taken my card there's no way the only other people that have access to my card are the girls and it's only for emergencies they would never use it to buy something for forty thousand dollars this has to be a mistake oh absolutely not let me send an email to the bank right now let's get to the bottom of this and it doesn't even say what it's for hmm what is M.M.? What does that stand for? M.M.? Should I call the bank? I probably should. Hold on. Let me send them an email too. It just says, hello, this is the professor and that was not me. Okay, let's go out here. Let's pick up that phone right now and call them because this is unacceptable. <sighs> hello? Hi, this is the professor. I was calling to let you know that there was a purchase made on my account. Uh, a purchase made on your account, sir? What is that supposed to mean? A purchase for $40,000. Uh, I'm looking at my computer right now, sir. Yes, it says that your card was used to purchase something for $40,000. Well, I didn't. Do you know what it was? It says that it's from MM. What is MM? MM is Mike's Motors. Did you just purchase a car or something? No, I didn't purchase a car. Of course not. Well, sir, I'm sorry, but this is a real transaction, and you're going to have to handle that with Mike's Motors, okay? It doesn't say what was purchased, but I can send you the address. Thank you. Thank you very much. For nothing, because that totally didn't help me. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so rude. Yeah, sir, you shouldn't be so rude. I'm just trying to help you out here, okay? I don't even have to talk to you, to be honest. Okay, I could just hang up the phone right now, but I'm helping you, so... I'm going to send you the address to Mike's Motors. Apparently, it's right up the street from where you live. And you can take your bank statement into them and ask them what was purchased using your car. Is that okay? I mean, I guess I have no other choice but to do that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Goodbye. What? $40,000? Do you know how much money that is? Do you know how? Oh, my goodness. I'm home. Blossom. Did you go to the store and purchase something for $40,000 using the credit card? No, Dad. I was at a sleepover. I would never purchase something like that. Why are you asking me? Buttercup, did you purchase something from the store for $40,000? You're already grounded for a day. I hope you didn't. Um... Oh my goodness, what do I say? Uh, d Dad? Uh, no, no. I don't even know what you're talking about. Are you telling me the truth, young lady? Come downstairs right now. Where is Bubbles? Uh, she went to the park. Yeah, she said she'll be home soon. Okay, you mean the park that's right down the street? Yes, that park. So, neither of you girls purchased something for $40,000 using my credit card? No, Dad, we would never do that. Anyone that would do something like that should literally be grounded forever. I mean, like, ever. Stop saying that. What? It's true. I have to talk to you about something. What do you have to talk to me about, Buttercup? It was me. It was you? Ah, oh, help me, Buttercup. I'm stuck in the roof. Yeah, it was me. I'm going upstairs. Help me! No, I'm too sad to help you. 
How am I supposed to tell dad now? You know what? I can't even tell him. I'm just going to get dressed and I'm going to try to take the motorcycle back and get the money back. Get it put back on his card. Although, that's not the right thing to do. I should just go and tell him. <gasps> Bubbles, you're back. You're back. Yeah, of course I'm back. What's up? What's up, buttercup? Look, I accidentally bought a motorcycle using Dad's credit card. The one that he gave us for emergencies. <gasps> Ooh, you're in so much trouble. I know. What should I do? You should go and tell him the truth. You know you made a mistake and just let him know that you're sorry. Yeah, but I, I already told him that I didn't do it. Oh, well, not my problem. Not my problem. Not my problem. Stop. You're not helping me, Bubbles. I know, it's just, I would never do something like that, so I kind of don't have to worry. <sighs> oh my goodness, so I should just go and tell him right now, even though I accidentally told him a story earlier? Yeah, of course, it's always good to tell the truth, okay? It's never too late. I mean, you're still going to get in trouble, though. <gasps> oh my goodness, okay, so let me practice with you, okay? I'm just going to go down there and I'm going to say, Dad. It was me. I'm so sorry. I was really upset that you moved us here to Blocksburg, and I just wanted to buy something really expensive to get back at you, but thinking about it, that was not right. It wasn't my money, and I know that the credit card was just for emergencies. So how does that sound? Um, it sounds like... Uh, sounds like you're still gonna get in trouble. Bubbles! You're not helping me! Help me come up with something to say then! I can't help you come up with something to say, Buttercup, because you're the one that used the card, so it's up to you to say the truth. Fine, whatever, miss. I'm no help. Let me just go down to Dad's office right now, to his laboratory slash room. Okay, Bubbles, you can do this. Just knock on the door and tell him the truth, okay? Or just leave now and go take the motorcycle back. You know what? Uh, l let's just... Let's just go and do that. Yeah, let's go and do that. I can't tell him right now. I'm too afraid. We're just going to drive the motorcycle over to Mike's Motors. I'm going to explain everything that happened to them. And they're just going to say, yep, of course you can give the car back, the motorcycle. I really hope they say that. <laughs> Um, do you remember me from yesterday? Uh, yes, of course I do. Welcome back to Mike's Motors. How may I help you? I'd like to return the motorcycle that I bought. Oh, ma'am, we have a no return policy. What do you mean? I just bought it yesterday, okay? I even have the credit card that I use. Just take the motorcycle back, put the money back on the credit card, and please don't tell anyone about this. Uh, I'm sorry, but like I just said, we have a no return policy here at Mike's Motors. It was a custom motorcycle. You can't just return it. You're gonna have to just keep it or resell it to someone else, okay? I'm really sorry. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? You bought it, didn't you? Didn't you want it? Yes, but it wasn't my car to use. <gasps> really? Well, still can't help you there. You still used it, nothing I can do. You're gonna have to talk to your parents about it. See ya. What? How rude. Let's get back home. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm here, but I... Okay, let's just go back inside. Okay, I'm gonna tell the professor. I should have told him from the very beginning. I shouldn't have even done this in the first place. Professor? Professor? Professor, it's me. It's me, Buttercup. Dad, it's me. Please open the door. Wait, why isn't he opening the door? Let me just take a look inside. Is he even home right now? Professor? Oh, wait, he's not home? Where is he? Wait, what if he's out going to Mike's Motors himself? I have to be the one to break this news to him because I'll probably be in ten times more trouble if he finds out on his own. Professor! I can't believe this. Someone spent $40,000 on my credit card and I'm going to find out who. I just had to get something to eat first. You know, <laughs> stay healthy, stay fit. <laughs> Although pizza is not really fit, but whatever. Let's get on over to Mike's Motors and let's see. Uh-oh, can't park in the store. Let's go. Hello, are you Mike? Uh, no I'm not, but I do work here at Mike's Motors. How may I help you? 
Someone purchased something on my credit card for $40,000. Do you know who? Uh, $40,000. <gasps> Actually, yes, I do. But unfortunately, I can't share that information with you. But it was my credit card. Do you have your ID, sir? Yes, I do. Here you go. Do you have your credit card statement, sir? Yes, I do. Here you go. Okay. Oh, everything checks out. Alrighty. So yesterday, a motorcycle was purchased in your name, and it was $40,000, and it was green. Wait a minute. Green? You mean this green one over here? You know who likes green? My daughter, Buttercup. She likes green, and she came home super late last night, and she's been acting crazy. Well, can you take the motorcycle back? Uh, no, sir. Unfortunately, we have a no return policy. Oh, my goodness. Buttercup, you're in so much trouble. Is this the motorcycle? This must be the motorcycle that was purchased. Are you kidding me? I can't believe she would do something like this. You know what? She was only going to be grinded for one day, but now she's going to be grinded for an entire week. Possibly an entire month. Possibly an entire year. Possibly forever. Because it's going to take me forever to pay off that. Oh my goodness, I tried to go and tell him. And what did he say? He wasn't there. He, he was gone. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Um, <gasps> Professor? I know what you did. Wait, Professor, I want to tell you my... No. It's too late. You used my card. You bought the motorcycle. That car was only for emergencies. Was the motorcycle an emergency? No, Professor, it wasn't. Then you are in so much trouble, young lady. I was only going to ground you for a day for what you did last night coming home late. But now, after thinking about it, you're going to be grounded for an entire month. And you're going to have to pay off that motorcycle. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching. Click to watch more videos and subscribe.